traders so we immediately made some couple of changes to our hmm indicator and in this video we're going to be looking at some of the changes that we did the price remains 49 dollars for those of you who would like to purchase this indicator but i promise you guys it's a very good indicator so let's just look at some of the changes that we did the data source previously was yahoo finance and binance but we recently added Alpha Vantage. Alpha Vantage is a platform that you can use to get all sorts of data. Now, all you have to do is to head over to Alpha Vantage and get your free API key, and then you add it on our platform and you'll be able to import data. We also added a feature that you can use to import data manually. Thanks to Thomas for partially sponsoring this feature here. Now, every other thing remains the same. We just did some couple of minor changes to the overall application now let's proceed to look at the application here so this is what you get when you download this application from trading kennel you get two files here so this is the internal file and this is the hrm indicator so all you need to do is to proceed to double tap on this here okay so the application has now loaded up and you can see uh, some of my settings my previous settings has already loaded up so you can now see we have uh the download method so you can either choose manual and upload it or you can choose alpha vantage here so i'm just going to stick with alpha vantage here i've already added my api key and we're just going to do a test for let's say ethereum usd and we're going to do a test from the 1st of january 2021 down to the 1st of january 2025 okay and let's, we are going to be training our data. We're not going to use PCA. We are just going to use the daily time frame, and we're just going to use two, uh, or let's say three moving averages here. We're going to choose four states here, and just going to click on train model here. So if you are an investor or you are looking for the best time to buy, uh, you know, coins like the Ethereum USD, the Bitcoin USD, this HMM can help you uh, identify overbought and oversold conditions on these pairs. Okay, so we're just going to give it a moment to load up. So you can see that's actually loaded up. It's not clear. Let's take out one feature here and let's change this to just two states to make it uh, more easier. You can now see we've got two states here. And the blue state obviously identifies the overbought condition and the green state here identifies the oversold condition. Now, if you were to buy Ethereum USD, you can actually do that in the green state here. So we have here the green state here and we have the blue state here. So let's take this data down to the current state, which is the the 19th of March 2025 and with the model that we trained we are just going to change this to predicting now and we're not going to import the model because we already have the model saved and uh, we are not going to use PCA here okay so we're just going to click on test model here so as you can see now Ethereum is still at a state that is seen as overbought by our HMM model, right? So it comes down more to a point where the state changes to green. You can obviously buy Ethereum then. This is a very good tool for traders. It doesn't try to predict the future. It only tries to predict the current structure of the market and it's pretty good at it. Now we can proceed to do this on BTC USD. And let's train the model. Let's just train the model uh, from 2021 up to the 1st of uh, January 2023. And we are going to be using the same indicators here. We are going to be training it here. So I'm going to click on learning and I'm going to use two states here. So I'm just going to train this model here. So we also have two states here. So we have the green states and we have the blue states here. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is an overbought condition here and this is an 
uh, oversold condition here okay you have to actually train it properly using the right indicators once you're actually comfortable with what you're seeing on the state here then you can proceed to use it to predict at the current data if you notice here we did not use it on the current data we're actually using it on the past data to train the model once you are okay training the model you can actually save the csv and use it as an external csv file let's just save the csv to example.csv and if you click on save csv here and you head over to the application you can see the csv file here so if i should open this up here you can see we have the open the close and we also have the indicators here so we have the 50 we have the 150 and the 200 indicators here and we also have the hmm structure here so zero and one so those are the states for the hmm indicator now you can also save this image and share it with your friends to see what they think about uh, what your hmm model is predicting and you can also save this as an example.pkl file which is the model you can save the model and if i head over to my files here you can see models here and you can see your .pkl file so you can use this uh in case you want to trade based on uh, different structures that you have you can also save this as a png so example.png here and save this image and head over to my files and go back to here and you can see the images here so if you click on this image here you can see the image that we just saw now